for some reason, I had a, a, a strange effect <laughs> on him, on Peter. I made, I, he got silly on me. I, I was, uh, knocked, uh, see when I knocked on the door, he opened the door, he had taken his false eye out and stuck a Kleenex in there. I swear to God, I didn't know he had a sense of humor. He broke me up. He, and he just, he pulled things all day long. For some reason, I had a, a silly effect on him. It was great fun, though. I, you know, I don't remember getting a lot of, uh, a lot of flack on it. You know, I did a movie uh, called The Morning After about an alcoholic, which I thought was very well done. I put years of experience into it, and it just, it didn't get any reaction at all. As good, People don't want to see me do serious things for some reason. They're used to laughing, I guess. I just, I just never got away with a serious role. The uh, morning after somebody came to me with it, and I, I, I kind of worked with them on it because I was a recovering alcoholic myself at one time. So we wanted to get that message out. I forget how, it must have been Peter who asked me, but I always had wanted to work with him because we'd known each other before back in New York. But we were both knocking around at the time trying to get get a job. I can see why they wanted me because nobody would think I would ever murder anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes a good mystery out of it. Many times fans, uh, you know, take solace in knowing what a exactly they're going to get, particularly with a, an actor that's so highly defined as Dick and, and as popular. You know, fans, you know, have peculiar relationships many times to the objects of their fandom. That goes back historically to a, a lot of uh, actors and people like that. They, I mean, they have a kind of what they feel is ownership since uh, they're so devoted to them and they can sometimes feel betrayed when an actor does something like that, because they don't make the separation between the actor and the, and the persona of the person. They just see them as that, and they love them for that, and they don't want them to change. I, you know, I never really got a lot of fun out of it, for some reason. I don't know why. I, I don't like being bad, I guess. <laughs> I'm so used to doing comedy. But it is a, it's a good stretch for you to, to do it once in a while. Oh, it's funny. I, I hardly believed myself when I watched it. <laughs> I said, he's faking it. Being on uh, w with Peter, I'd always been crazy about Peter as a person and as an actor, and I just jumped at the chance to do something with him. Yeah, I'm very proud of that. And, I, and he, liked, he liked my work. He thought I did a good job, so I was happy. If you've enjoyed your journey on the TV time machine, please like and subscribe. We look forward to having you again on the TV Time Machine.